Hello, Amber here. I'm a um, certified um, group fitness instructor at the University of Cincinnati. And today I'm going to be leading you through a gentle yoga practice for welcoming fall. So let's get started. As always, take your time. Stop at any time that's needed and take a drink of water as well. Um, if you start to feel thirsty or dehydrated, um, or just if you want to. Um, we'll come to our yoga mats. That's the main thing that you will need to have for two days practice is a yoga mat. And um, if you have a blanket, that's great. If you have a block, that is optional. Um, but you don't necessarily have to have props. Also, if you like to sit on a blanket um, to feel a little more comfortable, it helps you find a comfortable seat and you don't have a blanket, you could also um, use a pillow instead as well. So as always, feel free to get creative. Try to find something that feels good. Just try to find joy in the practice today, taking this time to connect with your breath, find a little relaxation as you gently move your body in a way that feels good to you. So let's start um, by, we're actually gonna start today, either you can start seated or lying down. So yogi's choice. Again, no one's watching, so do what feels right to you. We're going to actually start with just a little mini meditation today for our hour of practice. So if you want to lie down, you feel like you'll be more relaxed there, that's fine. If you want to sit, you could sit again if you have a blanket or something. I find that can be helpful. I have a little something underneath you to just kind of elevate your hips a little bit. But wherever you go with this, take a few moments to find a comfortable space to move into stillness. Again, we're only gonna be here for a couple of minutes, so nothing too crazy or intense, if, especially if you're new to meditation. I just want you to recognize that meditation is just as important of a part of our yoga practice as any of the postures that we do or movements that we do at our mat. Um, so we're just gonna start with that today, um, but just for a couple of minutes, so nothing too crazy or intense, okay? But just do what you can. Um, and get, get comfortable. Take this as a little time to take a break, okay? I'm sitting here telling you that that's what we're doing right now. You have complete permission right now from me to stop what you're doing and just unwind, take a break here. And um, if, you're, if you're lying down, you can maybe you put a blanket or something on or put a pillow under your head so you feel supported. If you're sitting up, maybe you sit on a blanket or something, but just try to, um, if you're sitting up, try to sit up with a good posture and upright spine. You can always sit against the wall if you prefer that, so that can be helpful as well. And wherever you're at, seated or lying down, just take a few moments to let your shoulders relax down away from your ears. And just allow your whole body to soften a little bit and uh, to relax. Let your eyes gently close. And just start, your, start to find an awareness of your breath. Just gently breathing in and breathing out and just take time to notice how it feels. And as you move into a place of relaxation here for the next couple of minutes, I'd like to share the, a little bit of information about the start of autumn. So we are doing our welcoming fall practice. And although you may be practicing this after the, equin the autumn equinox has taken place towards the end of September is typically when that happens. I do want to share that, um, you know, generally you, know, you might be still moving into the fall season, making that transition, even if it's just um, past the equinox and just generally towards the beginning of autumn. Um, but the equinox, um, autumn or spring, is the time or date twice each year at which the sun crosses the celestial equator when day and night are of equal length. So take a moment here and you start to find gratitude for the fall season, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe you're feeling a relief from the heat. Maybe you're just liking a change of scenery a little bit, something to switch things up a little bit. Maybe you're excited about getting out your fall scarves and hoodies and sweaters and getting real cozy with like a nice warm cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate, whatever that is for you. Maybe it's sitting by bonfire and whatever that is. Um, maybe it's just stay, staying in with cozy blankets, watching a good movie or reading a good book, enjoying these days outside before it gets too cold. So, 
as you kind of, um, you're taking that into account, the balance of day and night, um, as we start to move into a time where the days get shorter and nights get longer, today we're going to focus a little bit on um, creating some balance through our yoga practice. Balance on our body, balance and how we're using it in each pose, as well as a little bit creating a balance of having a gentle practice because autumn is tend to, tends to be more passive, more yin, more gentle season where I kind of withdraw and look inward and reflect rather than putting ourselves out there and being as active. So we'll definitely have a little more shift focus towards more of a gentle yoga practice while still flowing and moving our bodies mindfully and potentially challenging, challenging ourselves a bit as well so as to create that balance in the process. So as you continue here just for a few more moments in this meditation, I invite you to just cultivate awareness and connection of the changes going on around you. And you picture changes, embracing changes in your daily life. Perhaps you're entering a new chapter at this time, or just the changes associated with entering a new season. Maybe you just picture fall foliage and the falling leaves the landscape, the beauty of fall, and just take in and embrace that atmosphere. Or whatever it means to you. And just take a couple more easy breaths here, wherever you're at. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes and make your way back to a comfortable seat if you're not there already. And we'll just start with some little warm-up stretches here. Coming to a steady rhythmic breath, gently breathing in and out through your nose. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, reach up, two, three, four. Exhale, release your arms down, two, three, four. And then roll your shoulders up by your ears, roll them down and back. A few more times here, maybe start to set an intention, something positive, uplifting, reflective that you'd like to focus on in your practice today as you gently ease any tension in your shoulders. And still sitting with the upright spine, inhale, till your chin towards the ceiling, feel a stretch along the front of your neck. Maybe consider how you can embrace changes, whether they're difficult changes, um, exciting changes, or just changes that you're not sure about. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, chin to chest, chest to chin. And shoulders are still relaxed down. Breathe in. As you breathe out, begin to slide your chin over toward your left shoulder. You can just pause for a moment here if that feels good, feeling the stretch along the side of your neck. Or if and only if it feels good, maybe tilt your head back a little bit. Again, just take your time, nice and easy. There should never be any pain. We'll do a little head circles back through center over to the other side. And just do this a couple more times. And just take your time here. There's no rush. Are you, how are you slowing down to take in the beauty around you? How are you taking time to notice and appreciate even the subtle changes, like just a little bit of leaves that are changing colors already, noticing some of the crisp air, especially in the mornings that we've been having. And just little shifts and changes, noticing how the days are getting a little bit shorter each week. And eventually make your way back through center and lift your chin back up to neutral. And from here, we'll just slide your feet behind you. Make your way onto your hands and knees for your tabletop. You like put a blanket or something under your knees if you prefer. Fingers spread wide, shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. It's a flat back coming into our tabletop. And move right into cat and cow. Inhale, gaze forward. Open up through your chest, into your cow. And exhale, movement of contraction. Navel draws in. You round into your cat. Inhale, sway forward, back into your cow. And exhale, gently back into your cat. And do a couple more of these. And just going with the flow of the breath, with each movement at your own pace. 
in your own time. And then eventually we'll all meet back up in your tabletop and shift your seat to your heels. For child's pose, any variation here is fine. So as always, knees can be close together or apart. You might stretch your arms out in front. Maybe you form a little pillow with your hands. So just resting into our Balasana child's pose. or And just know that this or any other resting pose that feels good to you is something you are welcome to return to at any time. Continue to breathe in. And breathe out. And then press down through the palms of your hands. Inhale, and gently slide forward. Curl your toes under, fingers spread wide. You get to lift up into the upside down V for downward dog. You might keep a little bend in your knees here, especially for this first one, or you might start to strain your leg. But don't force it. Maybe you kind of bend one knee and then the other. Kind of shake your head loose. Any movements or stretches, anything goes here that feels good for you as you get into this. First downward facing dog is a practice. Let's take one more breath here, wherever you're at. And inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, step your feet forward to meet your hands. Exhale, fold. Hands may or may not be touching the floor. You might keep a little bend in your knees here. And you can always put a block or book or something underneath your hands if you want to bring the floor up to you. Or the hands don't necessarily have to be touching the floor. They could just be hovering over or touching. It's going to look a little different for everyone. And press down through the soles of your feet. Inhale slowly, a little bit of time, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Head and shoulder coming up last. And we'll step towards the top of your mat, feet parallel to one another. You can be close together, or perhaps stick up the, up the hip width apart, wherever you feel the most stable, most sturdy. <coughs> and drew down through the soles of your feet, finding a little bit of grounding here, and that stability of your feet rooting down, connected to the earth, while the crown of your head lengthens up towards the ceiling. Finding a really good posture here. Shoulders relax down and back. Navel drawn slightly in for mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. So, this time we'll clasp your hands together. Exhale, stretch out over to the left side. Stretch, exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release, clasp your hands behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you lift up through your chest. Inhale, exhale, release, and just kind of shake everything out a little bit. And then from here, we'll step um, your right foot back so that your hips are facing toward the long end of, one of the long ends of your mat. Wide leg stance, take your hands to your waist, make sure your hips are level and facing forward. And we'll um, pivot, so first your toes are facing forward, but we'll pivot on your left foot, so your left toes are facing the short end of your mat. If you look down, left heels in line with your right arch. Legs are straight. You can always pop a little micro bend in that left knee if that feels better to you, otherwise legs are straight. Inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale, begin to reach out towards the left, reach out that left arm as far as you can, reach, 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 and then once you can't fall, reach anymore, just let that hand fall wherever it falls on your leg, your knee, your calf, your ankle, wherever it falls, right arm reaches up, shoulder stack, chest is lifted, so we're not collapsing down into this, we're engaging our core, lengthening up here, triangle pose, trikonasana, breathe in, breathe out. And as you hold this pose for a couple more breaths, really feel both feet equally rooted towards the earth here, equally grounded. So we're really using stability through both feet, both legs, equal balance through both legs here, equal balance through your front and back of your body in this pose. So everything's working together. Press down to your feet, inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your arms to the side, maybe roll your shoulders a few times here. 
And other side, we'll pivot on your left foot so your toes are facing forward. Open your right toes out to face the other side, the other short end of your mat. Check in with your hips. Check in with the positioning of your feet. Inhale, arms up to a T. And exhale, tilt into your trikonasana on the other side. And just breathe here and take some quiet space on this side. About three more breaths. Of course, if you ever want or need to come out of a pose sooner, feel free to do that. Otherwise, maybe try to challenge yourself a little. Just see. Just see what's going to happen. Embrace the changes of forms that your body's taking throughout the practice here. One more breath here. You've got it. And then press down to your feet. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your arms to the side and we'll pivot on your feet. So both toes are facing in front of you. You can put a little micro bend in your knees here. Take your hands to your waist. Inhale, lengthen up through your spine. So crown of your head lengthens up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you hinge at your hips, start to fold forward. You can keep a little bend in your knees here. You might straighten your leg. Just a little bit of time. There's no rush to get there. And whenever you do, you can place your hands either on the floor, on a block or a book to bring the floor up to you. You can take your hands to your ankles if you'd like. Your choice. But just find a, your wide leg forward fold. I'm going to take about five breaths here. Just coming back to that breath. That intention taking this time as we move into autumn, as we move into a kind of a time of year where nature is sort of winding down. We'll look inward and spend a little bit of time and focus on ourselves. Check in. How are you feeling right now? What do you need? Another breath here. And from here, staying in your forward fold, just kind of come onto your fingertips, look forward, flat back. And then fold again. This time, just start to walk your hands out over towards your right foot. So a little bit of time. You're going to keep the leg straight. If you need to pop a micro bend, that's okay. But what we're really looking for is a stretch on your hamstring, the back of your legs. So if you can't come right to your foot, your leg, don't force it. If there's any pain in your hamstring, the back of your leg, again, you don't, you don't want to force that. Just go where you feel a good stretch without any pain here. And it smells a little different for everyone. Let's take one breath in, one breath out. And then come back to center. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Take a breath in. And take a breath out. And come back through center. We'll take one more breath here. And take your hands to your waist. You might pull a little bend in your knees again. Inhale, slowly make your way all the way back up to standing. And when you get there, we'll just try to walk your feet back together. Shake it out a little bit if you want. And return back to your Tadasana, your mountain pose. So from here, standing up sturdy, we're going to start to root down through your right foot to your right leg. We're not gripping or forcing anything. We're not gripping the floor with our toes or forcing anything. We're just really standing solid and stable and sturdy through that right leg. Look forward, start to find a drishti or steady gazing point, something out on the horizon that's not moving that you can focus on. Bring your palms to heart center and then start to peel your left heel off the floor. Bend your left knee out to the side, or slide it out to the side. Take your left heel to your right ankle. Option one, this could be your tree pose today, right here with your toes on the floor. 
or maybe you play around with walking your foot up your leg, either above or up below your knee. Palm can stay here at heart center. They can go out to the side. That can really assist with balance. You can always hold on to a wall or slanted ceiling like I have here if, if you want to do that option as well. Maybe you grow your branches overhead. Whatever works for you. And remember, if you fall out of the pose, no big deal. Wherever you go, try to stay somewhere you can really be mindful about maintaining that steady, rhythmic breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Rikshasana, tree pose. And then inhale, bring your front knee forward. Exhale, release both feet down to the floor. Just kind of shake it out a little bit, shake it off. Of course, we'll move into the other side, which might feel different. So just come to your mountain pose this time, root down, stabilize through your left foot, through your left leg, find that gazing point to focus on that can really help the balance and focus. Let's all start with your palms at heart center. As you slide your right knee out to the side, heel to ankle. And then of course, optional here, you stay here. You could do any hand variations that feel good to you. Or, you know, maybe you walk your foot up your leg as long as it's not against your knee. Find your tree pose. As you breathe here, just try to find that stability amidst the changes, the shakiness. Maybe things are changing around you and you feel a little shaky. You feel a little bit like, man, I don't know about this. I'm not sure about the situation that's going on right now around me. I'm not sure about the state of the world around me. I'm not sure what the heck I'm doing. Just try to find that breath. That stability in the shakiness, whatever you have to do to get there. And like a tree, letting go of the leaves, allow yourself to let go of the things that aren't serving you. Let's bring that knee forward, release your feet. You might be like, yeah, I want to let go of that pose. It wasn't serving me anymore. That's okay, too. You're like, quit telling the story when we're in tree pose. I don't know. Or maybe you like it. Let me know in the comments. Shake it off. Let it go. Let it loose. Come back to your mountain pose. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Like put the bend of your knees here a little bit if you want. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Press down to your feet, inhale, roll up once again to standing. Sweep your hands up to the sky. And exhale, dive it back down. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, fold, pause. Take two breaths here. Come back to your breath, your intention. And then start to bend your knees enough to place your hands on the floor beside your feet. Step it back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, shift forward to plank. You're like, whoa, this is gentle yoga. What are we doing? We're creating that balance. Turn up the heel a little bit. Just for a moment, you can always lower to your knees here if you'd prefer. But really try to create a little heat in your core. So really forming that straight line so we don't want to be dipping our hips down, bad to the back. So shoulders over your wrists, fingers spread wide. You've got this. Take one more breath in. And exhale, lower your knees and take a child's pose. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale, shift forward back to your tabletop. And we'll slide your feet over to one side. Doesn't matter which side it is. If you want to grab something to sit on, feel free to do that. That's what I'm going to do. And just come to a cross-legged seat. Sitting upright, sitting up tall, shoulders relaxed, setting bones rooted down towards the earth. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, and exhale, just start to walk your hands out on the floor in front of you a little bit of time. So any amount's fine. You might be right here, totally fine. You might need to come a little bit further, as long as we're not creating any pinching or pain in your back. And find a forward fold, shoulders relaxed. Head relax down. We'll take about three breaths here. Just pause, look inward, check in with yourself. Be aware of the shifts, the changes going on around you and try to find your calm center within all of that. Inhale, 
Inhale, start to walk your hands in towards your body and slowly make your way back up to your seat. And then from here, we'll scoot off of your blanket or pillow if you're sitting on one. So just come to a seat with your knees bent in front of you, your feet on the floor. And then a little bit of time, put your arms out in front and use your core just a little bit of time. Try to resist the urge to just plop down on your back all at once. Do a little bit of challenge, a little core engagement here. If you slowly, slowly, slowly make your way onto your back with control. And once you get there, the front will release. Let your back relax against the earth. Uh, take a breather for a moment here. Uh. And then from here, knees bent in front of you, feet on the floor. Take your arms out to a tea or cactus. And just begin to slide your hips a tiny bit, just a tiny bit over to the left as you slide your knees over to the right, coming into a recline twist. And you can always look out over your left shoulder, but only if that feels good to you. If there's any tension or discomfort in your neck when you do that, then just look up toward the ceiling instead. You might, I like to place a hand on my top knee for a little more stability. You might also take a blanket or pillow and place it in between your knees or on top of them. So if you feel any um, space between your shoulders and the floor, you could always take something to place under like a blanket or something to place underneath your shoulders to close out any space there. But if not, it's not a big deal. Just relax into your client twist. So we'll take a couple more breaths here. You let yourself gently sink into the floor and let it feel good. Let it release. start to bring your knees back to center. Arms can stay how they are. And as you probably guessed, we're going to do the other side. So shift your hips just a tiny bit over to the right this time as you slide your knees over to the left. And then get optional, maybe look out over your right shoulder, but only if that feels good to you. Take a couple more breaths here. Just let it go. Let it be gentle. Find some ease here. Find some serenity. Find the calm, the coziness of the fall season. Bring your knees back to center. And just check. Maybe walk your feet in a little closer to your glutes. Stretch that your knees are over your ankles. Place your arms to the side, palms facing down. Begin to press your feet into the floor. Inhale to lift up lower mid and upper back. Find a little back bend here. Come into our bridge pose. And just pause for a moment here at the top. Take another breath in. Notice how it feels. Come on, exhale, release down upper mid and lower back one vertebrae at a time and then just slide your knees a little from right to left left to right and we'll do one more bridge pose the next one i'll give you space to hold it for a little longer say three or four breaths if you want or you can come down sooner if you'd like and then bring your knees back to center press your feet into the floor inhale lift up a little bit of time of course, there are options here. You can stay here, which is totally fine. Maybe some people find it nice to uh, lift the heels, come onto your toes. The pose will feel a little different that way. Another option is you could start to walk your shoulder blades together and clasp your hands underneath you if that's something that feels like part of your practice today. And just, you know, we're going to heart open or our bridge, our back bend today. So let your heart be open to embracing the shifts, the changes, and knowing that you yourself have the capability to continue to move forward in a positive way. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to stay here for another breath or two, feel free to do that. And whenever you're ready, exhale to lower down, upper, mid, 
and lower it back. And then when you get here, bring your knees into your chest. Take your hands to the backs of your legs. <coughs> Excuse me. And then just let your feet go up toward the ceiling just for a couple of breaths here. Point and flex. Turning yourself kind of upside down a little in the opposite direction. Looking up and set it down. Releasing tension in your feet. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. Then we'll bring your knees in towards your chest and gently rock a little bit from side to side. Uh, finding some relaxations and release for your back. And again, just let it feel good. Let it release. And then whenever you're ready, just lower your feet down to the floor. You can always put your socks back on, a cozy jacket or something if you'd like. Extend your legs out in front of you and just start to make any final movements or adjustments that you'd like to make to set yourself up for our Shavasana or corpse pose. The final pose of the practice kind of symbolizes the end or the death of our practice as we recognizing as we end, you know, as the summer season dies or ends, it leads way to the new beginning of the autumn season, whatever that has to bring. So, as our asana practice comes towards a close, just take this time to completely relax and release. You might put something under your knee, you can have a blanket over your body if you'd like, or under your head, like a little pillow, or anything else that feels good to you here. There's no brush to get here and we'll take these next few minutes which I really really do advise you to take this time. I'll stop the video here. The practice isn't over yet. This is in some ways the most important part of the entire class so you don't want to miss it. Because the, the reason why it's so important is because it gives your body and your mind time to and the, the opportunity to really take in to absorb each pose that we did in the practice, the benefits of our practice today. Just take this time to unwind, let your back, your shoulders relax towards the floor. If you haven't already, allow your eyes to gently close as you return back to your natural breath. Vrishamasana. Complete relaxation. Complete release. Gonna give you this time for these next couple of minutes to just have a quiet space for yourself. a minute left here maybe sink even deeper into that passive space of inner peace and relaxation fall invites us to slow down just as nature is unwinding a little bit Couple more easy breaths here. And as 
you're ready, you start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, or make any other little stretches or movements that feel good to you. Coming back out from the Shavasana, maybe you can stretch your body long as if it were the first of the day. And eventually you'll bring your knees in towards your chest and gently roll over to your right side and pause for a moment here in fetal pose. And then you could just stay here in fetal pose for a couple more breaths. Life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. As Scott Fitzgerald. And mindfully begin to make your way back up to your seat and as you do so you just take a brief moment here of gratitude towards yourself for taking this time to come to your mat and practice today just take one more big breath in through your nose exhale big sigh out through your mouth and just solidifying the faith in yourself that you have the ability you're equipped to manage whatever life brings to you so let's inhale reach your arms overhead big stretch lift up one more time and exhale palms to your heart namaste thank you so much for joining me for this gentle yoga practice to welcome in the autumn season. I really hope that you enjoyed this type of practice and I look forward to seeing you back next time. As always, take really good care of yourselves and each other. Bye!